Hey, Kai. K Williams for Can Chronicles Media. Congratulations on yet another win, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, grateful to be here in Hawaii fighting. Grateful to be sitting right here. You know, um, this is always a good sign when you're doing this after the fight. Mm -hmm. So in tonight's match, do you feel as though the takedown in the third round led to a momentum shift? No, I was in control the whole time. Um, uh, I don't know, I just, I wanted to, like what Coach Eddie says, change the race, you know, um, and a big part of what I do is, is working on top, working on top. Um, I'm a wrestler at heart, and yeah, the, the big thing is I work a lot of body locks, so I feel like this is the first, like, you know, I got to use it for a little bit, work a lot of body locks and top control, and I, I'm glad I got to put it in there, you know. Give, give big shout out to my main training partner, Jeremy Kennedy. So you would say you pretty much stuck to the corners game plan in tonight's win? Yeah, I did. Um, but, you know, my corner was just telling me, be me, be myself. Um, I have a lot of tools. I take from everybody. I take from everybody in the world, you know. Um, I have a, so much different calls out there. We had one called Masvidal. We had one called Whitaker, Jan. Well, we, have, we have a bunch of them, and I make them... I make them all, you know, together. It's all, it's all, you know, together. I put them all together. It's, it's mine. And would you say tonight's match against Edwards was one of your more polished performance in terms of you making less technical mistakes? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, with, but with every fight, you know, you got, um, it gets harder. You know, every fight gets harder. Every, every fighter gets better that you face um, for a reason. But... Um, I feel like I, let, I, I made him better. I, I let him stay in the fight longer than I, I should have. I feel like I should have seen it, um, finished him. I should have seen it. I've seen my wife a lot earlier, you know. Um, but it was a lot easier, you know, than, and, I, and I, I made it. I wanted to make it a fight, you know, and some, I, I, I tend to do that. And, you know, I've I seen everything in there. So um, that's how I know that I made it easier. Um, uh, I slowed everything down. I could see it all, and I was just kind of, Kind of making sure I seen it all, but you know, time ran out before I could finish him. So, what's gonna be your victory meal tonight, man? Shoot, whatever. I just wanna. It's it's more of a relief to win, you know. Nowadays, and it's not as it's not as exciting anymore. Um, Cause I work hard, I put a lot of work into this, so I'm just relieved that I could win. I could eat anything, um, but the win is the most important. Kai, thank you for your time. Kai boy, you said earlier this week that. This week felt different. Not your first time fighting in Hawaii, obviously, but this week felt different because you felt the maturity that you found. You're a different guy this time around. How much did that carry with you into the cage, and how mature of a fight do you think you fought? Um, yeah, I, I, I think I, I fought a very mature fight. You know, I, I was able to control him. I could see him break in there. I could see him watch me the whole time in there at, after a certain point. And so I knew I had him. Um, I knew I had him even when, when I, you know, there's a couple of times where he, he extended his combinations and he may have added, added a leg kick in or he added a punch in and, I, and he hit me at the end of it. But I, I seen him break. He wasn't trying to, or I had control of him already at that point. I could see it in his eyes. But, it, but that was with my own eyes. You know, I, I, I slowed his actions down. He knew that I could see everything. Um, he, was, he was, he's good. He's tough. Evidently, that's why he's here, right? He lasted three rounds in me. Um, and I've been fighting at the highest level for three, three, four years now. So, I mean, he's tough. He's good. But I, I, I feel like I made him look better than he actually was. Every time you talk about fighting at the Blazedow, it's, it's kind of an emotional talk that you, you're able to bring up with your family and how much this building means to you to get a win here. I mean, how, much, how special is that to get a victory at the Blazedow? It's special. I mean, to get a win here... Uh, I haven't lost in this arena much often, you know. Um, I think well, last year is one of the few times I ever lost in this place, so um, I expect to win here. And yeah, it, may, it hurts. It hurts and makes me angry when I do lose here. It's more of a surprise. And you said that you're hoping to get a win here and then fight a ranked opponent and continue to climb that ladder. Uh, what do you hope is next? Is there anything that you have on your vision board right now as far as what you want next? Yeah, I mean, Give me, give me one of the, I don't know, um, watching one of the guys that a lot beat, beat me by a split decision last year. Um, you know, give me anybody, nine, uh, seven, eight, nine. Sh give, give me some, um, Keone Diggs from Hawaii, miss weight. Give me his, give, give me Weaver Almeida. Um, 
you know, get, give me any of those guys. Just give me some, give me somebody and get me in quick. You know, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm always getting better. I don't take any shortcuts. I make weight. I don't ask for catch weight. So um, I do my part. So, you know, the promotion, they got to see that. I show up anywhere. I show up for people, you know. Um, a lot of times I show up for people that don't show up. So, and, and I make weight every single time. That's the main thing.